Hello everyone, it is Tuesday here at The Breakfast Club and I am your host, Sister Danger, nominally from a channel of the same name. Wow, I first I want to apologize for to Nathan Brennan Masters for missing last week's round robin about uh, free entertainment on the internet. I had meant to do a video to this and it, I just, the end of my season caught up with me and it just didn't get done and I really apologize. So that, I mean, that said though, the end of my season, or at least the big end of my uh, season where I'm traveling afar to shows was this last weekend. So I will be having uh, more free time here in the future and hopefully that will make things a little less stressed on my end. It would appear that I also missed some, some week of ranting from everybody. Kazoom had a rant and Josh had a rant and Got That Funk had a rant. So that's a, I guess that I don't have a rant necessarily today, but I sort of feel like I should have a rant. So today's topic for me is blackface. And this topic is born of having witnessed a conversation on a thread online relative to a local sci-fi fantasy convention here where I live. Now, the question arose of whether or not they should post pictures of cosplayers at the convention who were playing drow elves because people unfamiliar with what a drow elf is might mistake that for blackface and take offense. They opened up the question of whether or not they should post these pictures on their various social media. So I wanted to kind of put forth this question to you guys and see what you all think of it. Now for anyone who doesn't know, I'm just gonna read the first sentence right off of Wikipedia describing what blackface is. Blackface is a form of theatrical makeup used by non-black performers to represent a black person. It's pretty straightforward and clear, and I just want to talk about some of my own reasons why I do not think that people playing drow elves should not be able to have their cool costume pictures posted along with everyone else. And for anyone who doesn't know what a drow elf is, here is a picture of that. It is very straightforward what blackface is. And when we allow this elastic stretching of what the definition of it is, we are taking away from what blackface actually is and what cultural meanings that it had. Drow elves are not people putting on black makeup in order to portray a black person. And there should be no reason that if somebody wants to come up and be offended about that, that this cannot simply be said to them, oh, look it, you have blackface people on your convention. No, we have people cosplaying drow elves. Here's what a drow elf is, reference provided, done. We're not looking for any possible way that somebody can play Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon to find it, some weird way that a thing can be interpreted as prejudice. And what it does is it encourages people to dig for things, to assign meanings that either, either aren't the actual meanings or never were there in the first place. They, they're literally making things up and stretching it as far as they can to, to milk the horror of prejudice to their advantage. And that is disconcerting. If we're unwilling to post pictures of people who are cosplaying drow elves because somebody that is unfamiliar with the venue might decide that they're offended and call it blackface, should we then also not allow people to either cosplay or not promote the cosplay of the orakai? because the Urukai were described as having black skin, should we not allow people to cosplay Jordi LaForge or Professor X? Because Jordi was blind and Professor X was in a wheelchair and this could be considered offensive to people who are disabled. Would we consider this to be 
prejudice if a black person was cosplaying a drow elf and then mistaken for having blackface? Would we consider a black person doing blackface? Prejudice. Should we not allow people to cosplay the Ferengi because the Ferengi have been equated to the Jews? Blackface is a very specific thing, and when we allow people to come along and play the six degrees of offense or prejudice, we are doing a disservice to the people that don't actually know. And that seems like a terrible place to go where people are so confused about what those things even are that either everything is prejudice and bigotry or nothing is prejudice and bigotry. And both of these things lead to their own form of terrible train wrecks of human behavior. How can anything that we have imagined to create in even robots not bear a resemblance to the human world? That is our point of reference for making alien races and fantasy creatures. Everything that we create or imagine to be is going to have some correlation back to this world because that world is the frame of reference from which those things are born in the first place. So of course, if you look hard enough, you can find and apply some sort of interpretive meaning to anything. Third, why would a convention want to assume the responsibility for the offense that other people are taking? So some people are engaging in a form of cosplay without any intention of being offensive, making any kind of racist remark. They are literally just portraying a thing that in fandom that they like, and there is nothing insulting intended to be about it. Why would a convention want to place themselves in the position of being responsible for other people's offense? Those people are taking offense. Let them take offense. You cannot control when other people are going to get offended. And in an instance where there is not even the attempt by a party to be instigatory, why would you allow people to influence and direct your convention policy based on their crying wolf over a fence. Expose people to the proper information. And if they want to continue down in a path of ignorance, well, that's their choice. So that's my question for today here on The Breakfast Club. How do you guys think that conventions should deal with cosplays that somebody else may in some way, shape or form find objectionable, either because they're sexist or prejudice or whatever it happens to be. And I will leave you to it. Please leave your thoughts and your comments in the low bar and tune in tomorrow to catch an episode of Nathan Brendan Masters. And I will see you all next Tuesday. Have a good one, everybody.